Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video tonight is about the symbol, where you can have symbols that you can use. The other day I was making a video and I'd made a, a macro to bring in a compass, so I could bring it in on any worksheet and it failed to quit working. And then I started thinking the symbol manager would be a lot easier. So just go to Windows, Dockers, and go to Symbols, and your symbol Docker will come up and I put the compass and I make videos with keyboards sometimes. So just take and drag the compass out. Then you need to revert it to an object and then it's good to go. But I, I draw a lot of maps and I need that compass. I don't have to go import it. You know, here's my keyboard strokes. When I make a video and I can uh, edit them, change them in, delete them. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you how to add one. Just open your Symbols Manager. This is an Aztec calendar that I don't need in my symbols, but it is pretty cool. And So I'm just going to take it, and I'm just going to drag it over to my symbols, and I get a plus sign. And there it is. It's symbol three. Now I can name it by... I actually think I have to kind of get out of there. And then double click on it kind of and just back up and uh, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna name it s y m b o l I'm just gonna call it symbol because I'm gonna actually I don't want it in there I'm gonna delete it but that way when I wanted that if I want that as that calendar I can just bring it out I can edit it do anything I want to with it, and then use it and cut it out, its hairline and everything. And then I'm sure you can just uh, delete it. Well, maybe not, but I, I'll figure that out. And So just don't put anything you just don't need. Uh, there's a way to delete that. But it is pretty cool to use a symbol manager or docker. Because when I, if you're drawing a map and you go, I want a compass, bam, you're right there. And then you can make it any size you want for your map. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.